Hi everyone, my name is Yair Herling and today I have a special treat for you. We will be discussing one of the most coveted features requested in the Checkmates community. Yes, that's right, I'm talking about granular VPN domains per VPN community, introduced in R80.40. Today, a VPN domain is defined per VPN gateway. It doesn't matter what site-to-site -site community it is part of, that domain will always be shared between all the peers in the communities that the VPN gateway is part of. Mm, that doesn't sound like a granular solution at all. This means that all networks and or resources inside the encryption domain are visible to all members defined inside VPN community. Until R8040, the solution was to define a VPN routing rule in the VPN route configuration file, vpnroute.conf. The challenge with this solution is the lack of visibility we had into this additional configuration in the smart console. An encryption domain can be defined by topology, which you should know is the default option, or override this configuration by setting it manually within a network object or a network group object. Now let's dive a bit deeper. A single gateway can be a member represented in a few different VPN communities. Having tunnels with remote enterprises, sites, public clouds, data centers, partners, etc. You get a point. For example, suppose we would like to connect, let's say, a certain supplier into our local enterprise network to check the status of our enterprise inventory. We definitely don't want to expose our whole VPN domain network just for that one supplier. We only want to expose the necessary domains, in this case the inventory server network, to the members supplier gateway of the relevant VPN community. By the way, this inventory server can be located within the VPN domain network or within a network that is not part of the VPN domain defined in the gateway. So how do we actually configure a domain per community? In R8.40, we can override the VPN domain of a gateway for a specific community. So let's create a new community, add a supplier gateway, and override the gateway VPN domain in that community to include only the domain in the inventory server that it is deployed on. Another important need for granular VPN domains is for enhancing interoperability skills with third-party VPN devices. Suppose we have the following topology. Checkpoint unifies contiguous subnetted networks into a big supernet network and negotiates a secure tunnel for that supernet network. This process is called supernetting and third-party interoperability peers, like our supplier partner, are often wanting to establish a tunnel only for a smaller network, not for the entire supernet domain. In this example, Checkpoint Remote Site wants to encrypt traffic to the entire VPN domain of the gateway, for example, A plus B network, while the partner interoperability device wants to encrypt traffic to net B only. Using domain per community, you can easily set a narrow domain that fits the encryption IDs configuration of the interoperability device, NetB for the supplier gateway. Per our example, override the gateway VPN domain for the community with the partner gateway to B only. That's all I have for you today on VPN communities. Have a great rest of the day and see you in my next videos.